All right, everyone, welcome to your vinyasa practice. We are focusing on um, working in some balancing poses for the next few weeks. Um, and last week we did as well, we worked towards Virabhadrasana 3. Um, we'll do something similar today. And so I find repetition in the body to be helpful uh, in terms of building strength and agility and muscle memory is a very real thing. So when you do something over and over again, uh, each time your muscles uh, remember that shape and help you uh, more confidently move in and out of poses. So every time we come to our mat lately, we're gonna use something that are kind of block-like. Doesn't have to be blocks, could be pillows, or even a stool, um, whatever you got at home. Maybe it's a chair. Okay, so you can take any one of those props, um, set them off to the side within hand's reach, and we're gonna come down to our back. I'm gonna make space above my head. We're gonna do a little bit of shoulder work before we start to work towards strengthening and balancing. So lay on down to your back. You can do whatever you want with your legs. Maybe start off bending the knees and planting the feet. You can let your knees knock in towards one another. Just whatever feels best on the spine. And then we'll take the arms out wide like a uh, goalpost, elbows wide. And we'll just start to broaden across the chest. Notice how that feels on the shoulders. And I just want you to take a few moments right now to breathe. Maybe close your eyes if that feels good. Deepen the breath to the best of your ability. Try breathing in and out through your nose throughout our whole practice today. Let's take about three to four breaths here just to draw the awareness to the physical body, to the emotional body, to the energetic body. Two more breaths here. One last time, deep breath in. Deep breath out. And now we'll just try extending the arms straight. And so keep your arms a little bit wide, like you're making a V shape with your arms and notice how that feels at the top of the shoulder juncture where it meets like your collarbone. And then exhale, see if you can slide your elbows wide, maybe stay in contact with the elbows on the floor if the chest and shoulders are open enough for that. And so I'm gonna call these floor slides. We're gonna do these floor side slides. Well, it's a tongue twister a few times. So reach the arms straight, okay? Biceps kind of alongside the ears, but make space for um, the shoulders, the head, the neck by keeping that V shape through the arms. And then again, pull the elbows wide. See if you can slide the elbows along the floor. Notice how that feels across the chest. Again, inhale, extend the arms overhead. So you're trying to keep the back of your hand and your elbows in contact with the floor. And it's okay if they don't touch, but see if you can get heavy in the arm bones, get them closer to the floor. They might not touch due to just range of motion or maybe injury, or maybe sitting in a chair, typing on a computer. And start to move this movement, if you haven't done so already, just in and out with the breath. So maybe it's the inhale where the arms extend overhead and the exhale where the elbows pull wide. And we'll do that twice more. Deep breath in, extend the arms. Deep breath out, pull the elbows wide. One more time like that. And so we're doing this movement because in Virabhadrasana 3, there's that option to take the arms forward overhead, which is very challenging to do if there's a lot of tightness in the shoulders. All right, let's hug those knees into the chest. We'll let that exercise go. That's just a little uh, compassionate inquiry into the state of the shoulders today. Tugging the knees into the chest, you can rock a little bit side to side, massage the tissue at the low back. Give yourself a little squeeze, a little hug. And then we'll rock the length of the mat back and forth a few times.
and then we'll come over into tabletop and then again this is where you probably want to set up your props at the top of your mat whatever you're going to use again get creative with the props you have at home and so they're just within hands reach there let's come to tabletop wrist stacked underneath shoulders knees stacked underneath hips tuck the tailbone a little bit so the spine is straight press the upper back towards the ceiling and then see if you can get nice and long through the back of the neck. Keep that, and then extend the right leg back behind you. Press down through the ball mount of the right foot. Float, and then float the right foot off the ground. So in essence, you're coming into Virabhadrasana three in tabletop, okay? But you're supported by your hands. Now hold that right foot back, press the right heel bone back behind you, flex the toes towards the mat, and extend the left arm forward alongside the ear. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and then come back to tabletop. We'll do the second side, left leg extend it back, press down through the ball mount of the foot for a moment, and then stay really active and straight through that left leg and float the toes off the mat. And you're only going so high as you can while keeping those left pinky toes dialed down towards the mat. So hips are squaring towards the mat. Keep that nice and long through the spine. Extend your right arm forward alongside the ear. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. See if you can avoid overarching the back body, but really tuck the tailbone under, pressing the upper back towards the ceiling and nice and long through that spine. And then exhale, tabletop. Now we're gonna move that side to side. Inhale, right leg extends back, left arm forward. Press the floor away with that right palm. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left leg extends back, right arm extends forward. Press the floor away with your left palm. Exhale, tabletop. Twice more each side, right leg, left arm. Exhale, tabletop. So breathing in, extend through the limbs, left leg, right arm, and then exhale into your tabletop. One more time, each side, inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, tabletop. Now let's take those hands a little bit wider on the mat and a whole handprint forward, so wrists are forward of the shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back, find downward facing dog. Relax your head, maybe take the feet wide on your mat. So wide hands, wide feet. Relax your head here, bend the knees right and left. Keep pressing the floor away with your palms, nice and flat through the palms, a little bit grip through your fingertips. So your hands are active, your feet are active. Downward facing dog. One more breath here. And then inhale, shift forward, come into high plank. So you might need to wiggle your legs back a little bit so you can settle into high plank. Again, there's that slight round through the upper back. Hands are active, heel bones pressing back, top of the head reaching forward. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, lower all the way to the belly. We'll take the elbows wide and then right, or sorry, left palm underneath left shoulder, right elbow is still wide. Press into your left palm, roll your weight onto your right shoulder, right hip. Left leg it can sweep back behind you. So finding a little rotation in the shoulders and the spine. Exhale your way back through center. We're gonna do the second side, left elbow wide, right palm underneath right shoulder. Press down into that right palm, roll your weight onto your left shoulder, left hip. Right leg can sweep behind you. We're just here for a moment and then come back through center. One more time to the right side, right elbow wide. Press down through your left palm, roll your weight to your right shoulder, right hip. Exhale, come back through center. Take that left elbow wide. Roll your weight to your left hip, left shoulder. And then come back through center. So just continue to work through opening up that shoulder girdle. Now, both palms underneath your shoulders. Take your feet wide on your mat. Press down through the big toe mound of the foot or the big pinky toe. No, I can't talk. Toes. Press down through your toenails. So top of the feet down. Lift the chest. Low cobra. 
There we go, we got it. <laughs> Exhale, release, forehead to the mat. Now tuck your toes under, engage your quadricep muscles a little bit, tuck your tailbone so it's like you're engaging the core already. Press the floor away, rise up to high plank. And then from high plank, downward facing dog. Settle back into the shape here. Three breaths. Take one more breath in, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the right leg up and back. Keep that right hip pointing down towards the mat. Right pinky toes pointing down towards the mat. Rise up onto the ball mound of your left foot. Get a little bit more length out of that reaching leg. And then exhale, shift forward. Right foot steps up between the hands. And then come up onto your fingertips. This should be familiar from last week. You can go ahead and grab those props underneath the hands. Get a little bit light on those fingertips. Shift all that weight forward into the right foot. Float the left leg up and back. Flex the left toes down towards the mat. Left hip down towards the mat. Pause here, breathe in. Get a little bit lighter on those fingertips. Deep breath in here. Now, all that weight's gonna stay in that right foot. You're gonna slowly lower the right foot to meet the left foot. Just barely tap the floor with that left foot and then extend that left leg up and back. So spine stays nice and long. It's almost like you have a back bend in your upper back, like it's low cobra here. Again, stay light on those fingertips. All the weight in that right foot as you float that left leg up and back and then lower it. Just barely tap it to meet that right foot. One more time like that. Exhaling, release into your forward fold. Now take your feet a little bit wider. Relax your upper body over the legs. Sway the body side to side. Shake out that right leg a little bit. And take your hands to your shins or your prop in front of you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Start to root down through your feet. Begin to inhale and uncurl the spine. Come all the way up standing. Sweeping the arms out wide and up and overhead. Exhale, pull those elbows wide. Maybe open the throat, look up towards the ceiling. A little bit of a back bend. Press the chest and the pelvis forward, but squeeze the glutes. Inhale, re-extend the arms. Exhale, forward fold. We'll step back to high plank and pause. Step back to high plank and pause. Pausing in your high plank, rotate both of your heels to your left. Both of your heels to your left, so you're in a side plank. Left palm is your base, right arm reach it up and overhead. Bicep sweeps alongside the ear. It's like your fingertips are trying to reach above the top of your yoga mat. And then come back to high plank. Shift forward onto those toes. Lower all the way to the belly. One time to each side. Right elbow out to the right side. Pressing into your left palm. Roll your weight onto your right shoulder, right hip. Inhale, come back through center. Switch sides, left elbow wide. Right palm presses down. You're rolling onto your left shoulder, left hip. Come back through center. Both palms underneath the shoulder. Low Cobra Bhujangasana. Press the floor away with the palms and the feet. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes under. Get really strong through the whole body. Include the legs and the core. Tuck your tailbone under. Press up to high plank. And then from high plank, downward facing dog. Pause here, settle in, three breaths in your down dog. All right, second side. We'll inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Left pinky toe pointing down towards the mat, left hip pointing down towards the mat. Inhale, rise up onto the ball mound of the right foot. See if you can get a little bit more length out of that left leg, a little bit more lift. And then breathing out, shift forward, left knee into the chest, and that foot up between the hands. We'll come into our lunge here. Start to shift the weight forward into the left foot. Crawl the hands forward onto your 
props or prop. And then start to float the right leg up and back. And again here, just like in three-legged down dog, everything is trying to stay squared down towards the mat. So we're not turning that right hip open. We're pointing the toes down and right hip is pointing down. See if you can get a little bit lighter in the hands, see if you can find low cobra in your upper back here. So stay strong and long through the spine. And then slowly lower the right foot to meet the left foot. Just barely tap that right foot on the mat. Sweep it all the way up and back. Right thigh about parallel with the mat. And then slowly lower, tap. So we're just lifting and lowering that right leg in and out of supported Vera three. Supported Warrior three. One more time, lift the right leg up and back. Broaden across the chest, get long through the neck, and then exhale, lower all the way down into your forward fold. Take your feet a little bit wider than you normally would in Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over the legs, bend the knees right and left. And then hands come back to your props or your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling, press down through the feet, uncurl the spine. We'll come all the way to standing. Arms will reach up and overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, pull the elbows wide, press the chest and the pelvis forward. Maybe open the throat and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale again, arms reach overhead. Exhale, fold back over the legs. Press the palms down into the mat as you step back to high plank. And then pause in your high plank. Get really long through the whole spine. From high plank, we're shifting both heels to your right. Both heels shift to your right. Right hand is your base. As the left arm sweeps up towards the ceiling and then bicep alongside the ear. So you're getting long from those left fingertips all the way down to the heel bones. Side plank. Come back to high plank, both palms plant, shift forward onto those toes, lower to the belly. All right, here we go. Left elbow wide, right palm underneath the shoulder, roll your weight to your left side. Come back through center. Right elbow wide, left palm underneath left shoulder, roll your weight to your right side. Come back to your belly. Both hands underneath the shoulders. Press up to either low cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, we'll make our way up and back. High plank, downward facing dog. So I'm passing through tabletop. That's always an option too for a transition if you like it. Settle into your downward facing dog, three breaths. We're going to add on to our flow. Virabhadrasana 3 is where we're headed next. Moving through our flow one more time on each side. Inhale, right leg lifts. Pause for a moment. Shift forward onto those toes, the left toes. But keep that right toe, pinky toe, pointing down towards the mat. And then shift forward, right foot between the hands, low lunge. Crawl the hands forward to your prop, so arms get a little bit longer. Shift the weight forward, you're standing on that right foot. Press down through the right big toe. Broaden across the chest, get long through the spine, low cobra in the upper back. Keep all the weight on that right foot as you lower left foot to the mat. And then sweep it up and back, thigh parallel with the mat. Exhale to lower. Inhale, sweep it up and back. Pause here. Pause here with that left thigh parallel with the floor. Get really light on your right fingertips. Try to extend your right arm forward alongside the ear. And then you can take the arm a little bit wide so it's like a half V shape. And then maybe include the left arm. Left arm forward alongside the ear. Maybe both arms widen a little bit like a V shape. Take a big breath here in warrior three. 
and then exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Ah, take your feet wide, bend the knees right and left. Coming into warrior three from a kind of almost like a forward fold position, so your back leg lifted, but the hands down, it can be really challenging if you don't have the strength or awareness in the upper back muscles to use those muscles to lift the upper body. So I want you to think about really firing up back body as we move through our second side. But first, let's inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press through those feet, sweep the arms out, reach up, big breath in. Exhale, elbows wide. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to high plank. Just briefly, heels to the left, side plank. Right arm, sweep it alongside the ear. And then exhale, high plank, lower all the way to the belly. This time we're just gonna move straight through low cobra or upward facing dog. That's your inhale. And then exhale, hips rise up and back, downward facing dog, three breaths here. Take one more breath in. Inhale, left leg lifts. Shift forward onto those right big toes, the ball mound of the right foot. So you're just lifting that right heel up is another way to think about it. And then as you exhale, left foot plants at the top of the mat between the hands, low lunge. Hands crawl forward, find your props. Shift the weight forward into the left foot, float the right leg up and back. Just three times here, come up onto your fingertips on your prop. Lower right foot to meet left foot. So think about the upper body, the upper back strength as you lift and lower the right leg. Yeah, all that has to be really strong and active. Also standing leg, doing a lot of work, right? Next time the right foot floats up and back, Pause there with it parallel to the floor. See if you can get light on your left fingertips, so much so that you can extend the left arm forward. And then you might try extending the right arm forward. So both biceps alongside the ears, or arms a little bit wider, big capital B shape with the upper body. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, we'll lower into Uttanasana, forward fold at the top of the mat. Take those feet wide. Go ahead, grab your opposite elbows if you like. And then we'll come back up through our halfway lift. Inhale there. Exhale, forward fold. Press down through your feet. Sweep your arms out. Rise all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, pull your elbows wide. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, fold back in. One more time through our vinyasa, and then we'll cool down and we'll be done. We'll step back to high plank. I'm pausing in our high plank, heel bones shift to your right. Left arm sweeps overhead. Come back to high plank. Shift forward onto those toes, lower to the belly. One more option to move through low cobra or upward facing dog. And then this time, just set your knees down. Shift the hips back towards the heels and we'll find child's pose. And child's pose, about three to four breaths. Let's inhale, come forward all the way to the belly. We're gonna move forward onto the belly, lengthen out through the legs. And one more time through that little rotation, we took our right elbow out to the right side, little half cactus shape there. You've been here before several times. 
I'm just revisiting to it for a few breaths. We'll hold it in stillness. Left palm underneath the left shoulder. Roll your weight to your right side. Maybe rest your right cheek on the mat or a blanket. Left leg, you can sweep it behind. You can also let the leg stack. You could also bend that left knee and plant the foot. We'll take three breaths here. We'll roll all the way back to the belly, nice and slow. We'll take the left elbow wide out to the side and the right palm underneath the right shoulder. Press down into your right palm, roll your weight onto your left hip. Left cheek resting on your mat or maybe a blanket. Right leg sweeping back behind you or stacking on top of left leg or bending the knee and planting the foot is always an option. Let's take about three breaths here. That's always such a big, big sensation for me on my left side. So you might notice if it feels very challenging to you on one side or the other, maybe both. A lot is going on in this shape. Let's slowly unwind out of it. We'll take a few moments just laying on the belly. You can stack your hands underneath your forehead, elbows wide. Oh, let the spine unwind, let the shoulders relax. Breathe in and out through the nose, all the way down into the belly. If you like, you can bend the knees and sway the feet side to side. And then relax the legs if you took that option. We're gonna press down into the hands all the way up to tabletop and then turn around on the back, hugging the knees into the chest once you get there. Hug those knees into the chest. Let's move into happy baby. You can reach up for the soles of the feet or anywhere along the backs of the legs. And maybe again, here too, rock a little bit side to side if you like. Take one more breath here. And then we'll let ourselves head towards Shavasana. We'll take one minute for Shavasana really worthwhile to stay for that if you can it's just one minute slide your shoulders down your back slightly tilt your chin in towards your chest take a deep breath in through the nose open your mouth exhale the air out closing the eyes here relaxing the jaw all the muscles of the face, let it go, let it rest. Please stay longer in Shavasana if you have the time, if you need to move on with your day. Breathe in, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, come off to a side, make your way through fetal position 
to an upright seat. We'll just briefly take a moment here to close out our practice. Inhale, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, settle to your seat. Just notice how you feel in this moment right now. And joining the hands together at the heart and bowing the chin into the chest, taking a moment to honor your effort and your practice with reverence and gratitude to all of our teachers, past, present, future, to the teacher within your own heart. Namaste, yogis. All right, everyone, thanks for being with me today. We had a good practice. And I hope you come back again soon. Take care of yourselves in the meantime.